we're asked to determine the Laplace transform of the given functions. Notice both functions that involve the unit step function or heavy side function. To find the Laplace transforms, we'll be using the shifting property below, where the Laplace transform of f of the quantity t minus a times u of the quantity t minus a equals e to the power of negative as times the Laplace transform of f of t. For number one, we have the Laplace transform of the square of t minus two times u of the quantity t minus two. Because of u of the quantity t minus two, we know a is equal to two. We also know f of the quantity t minus two is equal to the square of t minus two, which makes it easy to find the function f of t. If f of the quantity t minus two equals the square of t minus two, then f of t is equal to t squared. And therefore, we can now apply the shifting property to determine the Laplace transform. The Laplace transform is equal to e to the power of negative a s times the Laplace transform of f of t. This indicates the Laplace transform big F of s is equal to e to the power of negative two s times the Laplace transform of t squared. Using our table, the Laplace transform of t squared is equal to two divided by s cubed, and therefore the Laplace transform of the given function is e to the negative two s times two divided by s cubed, or two e to the negative two s divided by s cubed. And now let's look at the second example that isn't quite as straightforward. Analyzing number two, notice a is equal to one because of the u of the quantity t minus one, but notice the function two t minus three is not written in the form of f of the quantity t minus one so that we can easily determine f of t, and therefore we'll perform a change of variables. So that we can have a function in the form of f of t minus one on the left and a function in the form of f of t on the right. To do this, we know f of the quantity t minus one must equal two t minus three, from here we introduce a new variable, we let tau equal t minus one, and therefore t is equal to tau plus one. And now we determine f of tau. To determine f of tau, we replace t in f of t minus one with tau plus one, which gives f of tau is equal to two times the quantity tau plus one minus three, which simplifies to two tau minus one. This is the function we needed for the right side of our equation because f of tau minus one is equal to two times tau minus one minus one, which is equal to two tau minus three. Notice f of tau minus one is the same as the given function f of t minus one or two t minus three, just with a different variable. This indicates the Laplace transform is equal to e to the power of negative a s times the Laplace transform of f of tau, where a is equal to one and f of tau is equal to two tau minus one, which gives us the Laplace transform equals e to the power of negative s times the Laplace transform of two tau minus one. The Laplace transform of two tau is equal to two times one over s squared, and then minus the Laplace transform of one, which is equal to one divided by s. And therefore, big F of s, the Laplace transform is equal to e to the negative s times the difference of two divided by s squared and one divided by s. I hope you found this helpful.